Hey, what's going on guys? Before we get started with the video, I wanted to mention that I am currently doing a giveaway over on Twitter. It's for a chance to win a digital copy of Gran Turismo 7 for the PlayStation 4. It comes with 1 million credits, a free car, full soundtrack, and some other goodies. All you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, follow me on Twitter, and retweet the giveaway tweet, which I will have in the description below. The giveaway ends on July 29th at 8pm, and that's when the winner will be announced over on Twitter. And just remember, this digital code is good for US PlayStation 4 consoles only, and you must be in the United States to have a chance to win. So be sure you go ahead and enter, because Gran Turismo 7 is one heck of a game. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. So today I want to talk about Alan Wake. This is a very special game to me. As a matter of fact, it's one of my top 10 all time, full stop. Even though I've been a PlayStation gamer my entire life, I bought an Xbox 360 in 2010 at the age of 20 just to play Alan Wake. That's how excited I was when it first came out. Psychological thriller is my favorite movie genre, so that got me turned on to this game. I knew Remedy was an awesome developer since they did the Max Payne titles. And the Pacific Northwest setting was like a dream. It's a place I always wanted to visit and, I, and I've always held it in high regard. And just a few months ago, I finally was able to visit. More on that later. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? The Twin Peaks vibes and Town of Bright Falls were just entrancing. I've beaten the game at least five times along with the DLCs. All of this to say I'm a huge fan of Alan Wake. Now here in 2022 we got Alan Wake Remastered, which came to PlayStation platforms for the very first time. They've managed to do a beautiful job giving an old game new life. The original game didn't look too bad, but now it just looks and runs a lot better. Now the reason I'm making this video is not just to celebrate Alan Wake the game itself, but to also celebrate the fact that this game was my 50th Platinum Trophy. I wanted to make number 50 very special, so I purposely planned for Alan Wake Remastered to be my 50th. I couldn't think of a more fitting game for this occasion. It will always be special to me, as it's one of the most unique and straight up fun gaming experiences I've ever had. At the time of this recording, the Platinum Rarity is at 70% on PlayStation profiles, and 2.3% on PSN. The two most difficult trophies were probably Alan Wake Up and Collector's Edition. The former is for beating the game on Nightmare Difficulty, which isn't too hard, but it still required two playthroughs. The latter is simply getting all of the manuscript pages, which is simple enough with a guide. The Platinum Trophy overall is not too hard, but the trophy list is solid. It's one of those lists that isn't too easy and isn't too difficult. They did a great job of striking a good balance for the trophies. I still can't believe I'm sitting here talking about trophies in a Remedy game. I'm so glad they're no longer exclusive just to Xbox. Once Control came out, I could stop buying Xbox consoles because that's the only reason I ever needed to buy an Xbox console. Now if we can just get Quantum Break on PS4 or PS5, that would be pretty awesome. I know, Barry. I can... Al! I know. Listen, I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Sane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Playing this game again after several years was very special. I had most recently beaten it on Xbox 360, and I thought it still looked pretty good. But when you compare it to the PS5 version, it's almost night and day. It's just so beautiful now and running in 60 frames, it makes a massive difference. Just talking about it makes me want to go play it again. Is it normal to play through a game this many times? 
I feel like it's not. But that just goes to show you how great the game truly is. If you're into X-Files, Stephen King books, or Twin Peaks, this game is right up your alley. It just oozes atmosphere like those TV shows do. I was lucky and blessed enough to travel to the Seattle, Washington area just a few months ago. It's a trip my wife and I have been planning for years. It's always been our dream to see the Pacific Northwest, and we finally got to do it. Prior to the trip, I researched some of the locations that the development team used to get inspiration for the game. I saw the famous Twin Peaks Hotel, of course. That's a pretty iconic spot. And we visited the diner from the TV show as well. We went hiking near Snoqualmie Falls, and there was a power station that looked just like the Bright Falls power and light station in the game. I peered inside but didn't see the log lady or the well-lit room. So that was a bit disappointing, but it looked very similar. I would love to travel to Oregon one day and see Crater Lake, which is the inspiration for Cauldron Lake. But just driving through those small towns in Washington was enough to evoke that Alan Wake vibe, and it was an unforgettable experience. Well guys, I think you know by now how I feel about Alan Wake. It's freaking fantastic in every conceivable way, and there isn't anything quite like it in the gaming sphere. If you've never played it, what are you waiting for? There's no better time than now to jump in. And that will do it for today's video. If you're enjoying my content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell to be notified for future videos. I'll see you guys next time.